Look at all the bluegills. My God. Come on, this one wants it. There we go. First bluegill. Not a bad one. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. Today, we are out on the hard water. Once again, we are fishing lake number three of the ice fishing season. And guys, to my surprise, the lake that we are fishing at has a lot of freaking ice. Now it has been in the 40s every day for the last couple days now up here. And the lake that I'm standing on has almost four inches of hard, clear black ice, which is absolutely amazing. This is the first time, like I said, that I have fished this lake this year. And I'm super excited about it because it has a lot of freaking panfish. And one thing that we haven't done so far this year is go for some bluegills and the lake that we are at has some monster bluegills. That 10, 11 inch range is definitely possible. Not saying we're gonna get out here and do it, but it is possible. So obviously with a chance like that, we are gonna take it and hopefully can get one topside. But I am out here today with, of course, Cody S. How was it? You made it up here again. I made it. Yeah. For some early ice fishing. Are you pumped? I'm pumped. I'm I'm pumped. I'm a little out of shape. I just had to walk up that hill to grab my camera, but we're back, baby. I am not gonna waste a whole lot of time showing you guys getting to the spot and all of that. We are gonna spot on out step by step, make sure we're taking our safety precaution, even though this lake is fully locked. But with today's video, you probably read it by the title, and if you are seeing this video, that means it was a success. I'm going to be attempting to do an underwater video for you guys. So this year, we did end up buying a brand new underwater camera that records in full HD. So obviously, I want to put that to the test, and this lake, like I said, has a lot of fish in it. So I figured, why the heck not? A lot of action on the underwater footage would be awesome for you guys. So I'm gonna be going ahead, trying to attempt to do that for you guys. and. Like I said, if you're seeing it, it works. So we're gonna go ahead and start chiseling out to the spot, get everything drilled out, set up, and we're gonna get to fishing. Well, you guys, we have made it safely to the spot. Already drilled out a few holes, and I got my live scope down just to find these fish before I get the underwater camera down in there. But guys, let me turn this around here and see if you can see how big this school of fish is that we found. So we were scanning 40 feet away, but look, look at the size of that school every single mark they see vertically is all a fish we didn't want to drill on top of it right away just because we want to get all of our stuff set up over here make sure we're all ready because once we drill that hole over there um we're not sure if they're gonna spook we are on thin ice so a lot of the times fish do get spooked pretty easily luckily it looks like they are in deeper water so we should be all right there but we want to go over there drill a hole drop our live scopes down and just absolutely get on a beating of fish which i'm sure we're gonna do because there honestly looks like there's 75 fish in that school so hopefully i can see with the underwater camera we're gonna have to go over there and get a test with it drop it down and see what we can see and hopefully just hammer some fish man i am excited it is a beautiful day hard ice lots of fish now all we got to do is catch them all right you guys so Got the underwater camera all set up, and there are a pile of fish underneath. Oh yeah, you can see my jig. Let's see if we can get bit. There are a ton of fish down there. northern passing by. Holy cow, look at that footage. No wonder they're all spooking. There's a big northern that just swam by. What? A big northern just swam by. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, we got a higher up mark. Crop. 
Look at this bluegill. Just barely hitting it. Wow, just tapping it. Look at this. They're barely touching this thing. Look at all the bluegills. My God. Come on, this one wants. There we go. First bluegill. Not a bad one. Well, not a bad first bluegill, but you could tell how many were on the freaking underwater camera, but none of them wanted to eat. Just super, super light taps. And I wouldn't even be able to tell that on my live scope. I can see there's fish down there, but nice thing is with the underwater camera is I can see those subtle little things that get him interested and then like with that as soon as he sucked it in I was able to nail him. I drop back down there are more fish. Wow look at all the bluegills. <laughs> oh my god. Holy smokes. Look at these things. Why aren't they eating? I don't know, look at this one. He's like eyeing it up. Yeah. I wish this one would eat. It looks better. Oh, that's a good one. Come on. You right here. Come on. I fall down in there. They all just vanished. Probably means it was like a pike or something, which there is. Move the camera. I had that pike come back through again. Yeah. yeah. Well, no wonder these fish are spooking so easily. You got a big pike. You guys can see he ran across the camera again here. Chasing these panfish around. That's probably maybe why a good reason why these fish are not biting. Because they are scared for their life trying to survive out there. The goal today, really, I mean, every day is to catch fish, but I wanted to really show the underwater footage and just show how different interactions with different baits and whatnot decide if the fish are gonna bite. And so far, I mean, I have had a ton of fish come through on the underwater camera. The footage has been super cool so far that I've seen. It is sunny, so it's kind of hard for me to look at the underwater camera while I'm fishing but I can tell with my live scope, there is a ton of fish down there. So hopefully it's capturing it pretty good for you guys. He's coming up to it. Got him. What do we have here? Small little bluegill. Huh, he showed up really big on that live scope. These must be the crop he's rolling through now. Small bluegill. Oh, there is a crappie down there. We're gonna try to catch him. This one's gonna help. Come on. Come on, what do you guys hit? Oh, this one. Look at him just stare that down. There we go. Another decent bluegill. Nothing huge so far. It's been a struggle to get these fish to bite, but man, is it cool to see them on the underwater camera actually eating the jig. Come on. You, right there on the left, eat this. Oh, that one right there. Come on. Look at him just 
nip at it. Oh my god. Oh, this is a better one. That's a better one. There we go. Oh, they definitely seem like they turned on a little bit. Still nothing huge, but it seems like since that pike is not chasing these things around, they're a little more open to eating. Go ahead and try to catch a few more here. Look at them all. Oh, well, here we go, first crappie. Turns out with crappies, they uh, they usually don't mess around. So far with all the bluegills that have been coming through, they a uh, little more finicky. They're not coming in and just hitting it right away. Like obviously you just saw that crappie. He came in and didn't hesitate at all. He just knew he wanted to eat and he wanted to eat right now. Well, that was definitely a struggle to actually get those fish to bite. But what I'm gonna end up doing right now, I think I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna just punch some holes around. I'm gonna try to find that crappie school because Cody was able to get on top of the crappies and he pounded like 50 in like no time. So definitely wanna get on some of that action. The only hard part is with an underwater camera is that I gotta set up the tripod so you guys can see it. I gotta take my live scope to find the fish. I gotta drill two holes. I gotta set up the tripod for the underwater camera camera put the underwater camera down at the right depth start it all and then hopefully by that time the fish are not scattered and leaving which has been a problem so far so i'm super happy i was able to actually get some awesome bluegill content for you guys because it was super cool seeing them come in interact with my jig sometimes they wanted to hit it sometimes not sometimes they just nipped on the very end of it so at least i caught some i got some cool awesome early ice footage for you guys of underwater footage and that was really the main goal so what i'm going to do like i said go try to find those crappies and just see for the rest of the video if i can just pound on a big school of crappies so let's go do it all right found the school and found the crappies it's got to be a crappie right no nope. small bluegill either way found the school of fish Gonna try to just get a bunch here. Wow, this one's raising up. Instantly, <laughs> instantly, feels better. There we go. I know there are a ton of crappies in this lake, but the hard thing is, is they scatter really fast, which is really hard for an underwater camera because there's nothing holding them to a specific spot. I would love to record crappies on the underwater camera, but they just are not cooperating. Oh my god, there are so many fish under me right now. This is insane. Another crappie. We're just gonna see how many we can catch really quick here. That's two. Can we go three for three? Drop it down. Already got one coming. Got him. Three for three, this one's better. Another nice crappie. Get him back. Oh my god, ripped his face off. It's okay. We're fine. There's another eight underneath it right now. Got one coming back up. Oh, that was a bigger one. Oh my god. Two in a row. Okay. There's more. These are bigger marks. Got him. Better crappie. Almost cookie cutter to the last one. Oh wow, this is a big school of crappies. There we go. This one's better. Another beautiful northern Wisconsin early ice crappie. Does not get any better than this. Just one after another. It has been an absolute blast so far today. So if you guys like underwater footage and you wanna see more of it, 
let me know down in the comment section below because I am going to actually go to lakes that I know of have cribs and other stuff like that to where I can actually set up on one hunker down spot and I can get these fish more consistently versus trying to chase them in a school because that is one of the hardest things to do. I just got too much equipment trying to run around, chase these fish. And like I said, with early ice, you're gonna spook them. So if there's something you guys wanna see, definitely let me know down in the comment section because now with the underwater camera, we are able to film a ton of underwater footage uh, very easily for you. There we go. There we go, there's a nicer crappie. Absolutely insane how many fish are down here right now. Like this is definitely one of the biggest schools of crappies I've fished in a long time. And it's just like non-stop, it's every single drop you go down and they're just already there. Like this one's gonna come hit right away, instantly. Just absolutely insanity. <sighs> that is gonna be the last crappie of the day. I'm gonna go ahead, get my stuff all packed up, and we are gonna go ahead and head to the other lake because I'm super excited. I've already been pan fishing the last couple nights out here, and man, I love my walleye, so I'm super excited for tonight. Go ahead, pack up everything else, and I will talk to you guys when we get back to the truck. Well, we have made it back to the vehicles, and Cody and I both realized that uh, we are definitely out of shape. Uh, we didn't even really walk that far. We had to go kind of up a steep incline to get to this lake, but yeah, that was not really fun. Snow is kind of melting away. Luckily, we still have enough to drag a sled, because otherwise, that would really suck. But now that we are back at the vehicles, this is where I am ending today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed that underwater footage now like i said in the video it was very hard for me to film the underwater footage just because the school of fish that we were fishing was on a main basin mud flat and these fish were cruising all over the place so to actually get set up sit in the same spot and have these fish there also on thin ice scaring them while you're walking around was definitely a challenge but was able to get some super cool underwater footage, which hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if this is something that you wanna see more of, please let me know down in the comment section below, because once we get more ice and more bigger lakes start to freeze, we do have some lakes where, you know, we fish a lot of cribs, um, stuff like that, that actually hold fish to where we can um, do a better job of filming them. And also, I do want to film quite a bit of like tip up underwater footage, uh, walleye fishing underwater footage, stuff like that. Just use it in different areas uh, while we're out there on the ice. So if that's something you guys want to see, make sure to leave it down in the comment section below. But we are going to pack this up, get on the road. We are actually going walleye fishing right now, so you guys will have to stay tuned for that video once it comes out. Hopefully we get on top of something real big tonight. Super excited, but again, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a like. Make sure to leave a comment, subscribe if you guys are new, and I will talk to you guys on the next one, Tight Lines from NB Edits. Oh,